Hi everybody, my name is Elizabeth. Um, I've made one video so far, and um, I just wanted to share some more stuff with you guys and let you guys in on you know what's going on in the world, what the feedback is, and everything like that. Um, so, as you can see, I love German music. Nathaniel is the best. But um, my last video was about brainwashing. And um, I think I would like to, you know, continue on with this brainwashing thing because I've done some research and um, if you've seen Katy Perry's new music video, it's kind of fucking crazy. Like, it's cannibalistic, um, you know, you see her roasting in a pot, like, simmering in a pot of soup. And like, they're like, cutting up her hair like it's garlic or some shit. And, um, you know, just getting out of hand, like, things you see on TV is just insane. And, you know, I have to quote disturbance of some of this, where, um, it's talking about how we're glorifying these people. We're glorifying these people that are doing these horrible, heinous acts, and we're acting as if the people that are murdered don't even matter. I mean, their names matter, their lives matter, and... You know, putting up a picture of this murderer that's going around raping or killing or whatever, rapists, you know, child molesters, it's just, you're glorifying them. And that's not the thing that we should be doing. We should be actually putting them down instead of putting them up. A lot of people think it's funny, a lot of people post funny, you know, what they think is funny you know, on Facebook and stuff like that, and I'm an avid Facebooker, I Facebook, but I Facebook mostly, mostly for a social, I like talking to people, um, but I also like being alone, so when I'm able to be alone and also conversate with people, you know, it's a comfortable feeling for me, but at the same time though, you know, Facebook is being abused to the point of where it's just, it's getting ridiculous. Everybody who cares about their opinion, everybody wants to share their opinion. And yes, I get it, but there's no need to start arguments, and there's no need to start all of this drama on Facebook. I mean, I think we're all in the same boat that murderers are wrong, rapists are wrong. There's a lot of things we have that inner clock, that inner ticking. We know what's wrong, we know what's right. But in our day and age, it's muffled. We, we can't really tell anymore what's wrong and what's right. So everything is just portrayed as an opinion and as a choice. But that still is valid. It's still valid that there are things that are wrong and there are things that are right. So in this world that we live in, everything is just a hypothesis. Nothing is conclusive anymore. And I mean, it's good to be open-minded, it's good to be a different person, it's good to be um, yourself, and I completely promote that. But when you're out here making fun of people, and you know, saying nasty words and stuff like that, like I have some people that attack me, and I have a lot of people that are creepy, like creepers that are, you know, messaging me over and over again. And I'm such a nice person that, you know, I don't like blocking people. But if it gets to that point where it's kind of like traumatizing me, we just got to that point a few times where people send like weird pictures and stuff, um, you know, I'll do it. Um, but at the same time though, you know, it comes down to our generation. Because our generation is a generation that's mostly into Facebook. You know, I'm 22 years old. Um, you know, I graduated high school when I was 18. When I was 18, I was very mature for my age. You know, I had already completed most of the courses. I didn't have to go to school completely when I was 18 because I already had enough credits to be able to suffice for it. But, um, you know, I've always been an open-minded, intelligent person. And I think one of the reasons why it is that way is because I'm so open-minded. When I was in high school, you know, they would teach me things. But I still didn't think that a lot of these things were important, you know, it's not really that important in my life, and it's okay to say that. A lot of people think it's not okay, oh, you need to um, be into learning new things and be an intellectual and pay attention in class, and, you know, they're pretty much telling us to conform to what society wants us to learn. 
I mean, I'm more interested in a lot of other things than just algebra. Yes, algebra can be very useful, but it's not necessary. And, I mean, yes, it's, it's, it's um, helping your brain grow and helping you intellectually, but there are a lot of problems that are going on in the world today that are more social construct. So the social construct is the way that we're socializing with people, the way that we're treating other people, um, and that's a huge thing nowadays because there's so much disrespect. You know, as a human being, everybody deserves respect. Everybody deserves to feel like they matter. Everybody deserves to have their own opinion, but to have their own opinion in a respectable way to other people. So it's not just about, you know, oh, I'm not a liar, I'm not this, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. It's okay if you're doing it in a nice way, but if it comes to the point where you're bullying people or you're supporting evil things, it's not okay. Okay? And I know my generation hates to hear that it's not okay. My generation hates it. Because we think that we're free thinkers, but we're really just being rebels. That's what it comes down to. You know, when you ignore things, and a re rebellion can't come from ignorance. And ignorance is just being, ignoring things, ignoring things that are important. And our society is extremely important that we care about each other so we can change our world for the better. And if we all care about each other, then maybe we can actually fix the crap that we're in. Right now, with, you know, threatens of war and all of these things. We have to be caring, loving individuals and take each other as if we're all equal. And that's just, I think that's the main point here. The main point here is that we need to respect each other. It doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how young you are. You know, when I was a child, I felt like I was underlined because I was a child. I felt like nobody really respected me, and nobody really wanted to listen to my voice, but I had a powerful voice, and I had something deep inside of me that couldn't really help other people, but because of my age, I was discriminated against, and thought that, oh, you're not intelligent enough to be able to do this properly, or to be able to make correct decisions, when my brain was pumping at full speed. You know, so we can't judge people on their race, their gender, their age, um, their sexuality, you know, their religion. We all have to think about what's wrong and what's right. That's all that it comes down to. And thank you for listening. Have a great day.